Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Lin, founder of IQ Laser Vision. I'm also an assistant clinical professor, David Geffen School of Medicine at UCLA. Uh, I started IQ Laser Vision in 1999. The reason I started it is it's my passion. I had surgery actually in 97. So after having it done, it really changed my life. And I said, you know what, this is what I want to do to help uh, patients. And since then, I've performed over 60,000 uh, basic procedures. And then now we're doing a lot of other innovative procedures like SMILE. And then also uh, the EVO ICL. The ARC scan has really helped me to provide better outcomes for our patients that are having corneal refractive surgery through the epithelial mapping. And then also the ICL because it helps us to visualize the area that we are actually putting the lens through instead of just looking at the surface, which is the FDA approved method. So with technology, we always want to provide what's best. Before I purchased the ARC scan, we looked at some other technologies that are UBM and that can do epithelial mapping. But the, the precision is just not enough for us to really make difficult decisions. And we've tried using other UBMs to make these measurements for the ICL sizing, and there's too much variability. But if you want the standard, if you're one of the leaders in EVO ICL in terms of experience and volume and you want for your uh, patients at the best. I actually would not do an ICL personally without using the ARC scan. We want to minimize the chance of needing to exchange out the lens. So in order to get the most accurate measurement, we want to use a UBM method that actually has a little robot helping us to measure it to give us that reproducibility. So with the ARC scan, this, this, um, the accuracy is just unsurpassed. So it's very, very important for us to use this measurement in order to put the right size of ICL to minimize potential side effects. You know, doctors and patients want to feel confident. So this gives me a lot of confidence that this person actually has keratoconus or not. So that I have a lot more confidence when I make a recommendation for the patient and that's what patients want.